What's up guys? I am Eric and Puzzle Piece and today I am doing a video that I've been thinking about wanting to do for quite a while now and it's based somewhat based on humanity and somewhat based on heartwarming moments. But before I start talking about all that, I just want to say because I found out on Twitter today that PewDiePie and CutiePie both got married. So I'd like to say congratulations PewDiePie and congratulations CutiePie Marcia on getting married. It's about time. And now everyone wants to see your kids. So anyways, getting to the topic at hand, uh, the whole uh, faith in humanity and also, you know, some heartwarming moments. Um, like, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my experiences, and also I'm going to show a couple of things. Uh, there's so many out there, I just I just picked uh, the ones that I remembered and that came to mind, and so I just said, hey, yeah, I'm going to try to find that video, or I'm going to try to find an image, uh, you know, that's relating to the topic. Because pretty much when you think about humanity, when you think about all of it, it's, it's kind gestures, um, it's charity, it's uh, helping people out doing whatever, um, like for example, uh, a, a few weeks ago I saw this, uh, this uh, elderly person, uh, yeah I think it was an elderly woman, I saw an elderly woman that was having trouble getting off of a bus, and uh, these two people that were coming on, um, the woman, the woman that was with the guy uh, that was coming on to the bus, the woman literally just walked by did nothing, walked by, sat right down, and then the guy comes on, and, he's, and he sees that the elderly person is trying to get off, and since uh, that person was having trouble getting off the bus, he decides to help her out, you know, just trying to help. You know, like, he literally came on the bus, took her hand, and helped her off the bus, which I saw, and it warmed my heart. I thought that was so beautiful. And honestly, it made me smile. Like, I was really, really happy to see that. Like, and also another example is like, um, like me personally, I, I donate, you know, it's not much. I wish I could do more, but it's just sadly not in my budget because, you know, society makes you have to pay for rent, groceries, yada, yada, yada. But I, I give $30 a month to uh, Sick Kids Hospital because they're rebuilding a new hospital, right? So, and I don't know, when it comes to kids, like, they're our future. Yeah, you know? And I want kids to be healthy. Like, right now there's kids with cancer. There's kids with, uh, with many issues. And they need their help. They need help. So I know it's not really much of, uh, not really much of a charity that I'm doing. But I'm still trying what I can. Uh, like, I'm trying my best. Um, $30 a month. Uh, honestly, if, if, I can, if I can start making more money, then, then definitely, definitely I would bump that up. And there was also this other time, I remember I was, uh, I was walking uh, out of a station waiting for my girlfriend. And uh, outside the station, there was this uh, homeless woman. Uh, who uh, has Down syndrome? I felt bad for her, and honestly, like I, I didn't have much money, right? I didn't have much money uh, in my bank account, and I legit only had twenty dollars, <laughs> twenty dollars to my name uh, until payday. Um, yeah, I had twenty dollars in my wallet, and I needed, I needed, uh, I pretty much needed that money, but. I literally said, screw it, I went back inside, cut that 20 in half, and I gave her half. I gave her, I gave her 10 bucks, because I felt, I felt so bad, I, like, I even looked inside her cup, and people were walking by, like, people that, that were dressed fancy, and people that, you know, they all look at her, and they just, you know, just, they just look away, and I'm like, and I'm sit, I'm standing there like, and I'm looking at all these people just walking by, not giving a shit. And I'm like, I do give a crap. <laughs> I need to get. I feel like giving this person some money. So, and that's when I. That's what I did. I decided to go back inside, and I gave her ten bucks. I know it's not. Again, it's not much. 
but at least at least it's a kind gesture I I try to be kind I try to be as nice as I can and I really hope that some people along the line do the same because it's to, to me it's very important that people are nice to people people are just nice in general don't get me wrong everything good has something bad everything bad has something good that's something I always follow like you can you can see someone that you think that you say like you you talk to them and they're like they're a really nice person they're a really great person but behind the scenes they could be an asshole or someone someone in person they're a complete asshole but really they're a good person so so that's why I I pretty much created this video is because I started witnessing a bunch of people doing some kind acts not only on the internet but like actually in person so so that's why I wanted to make this video and uh, hopefully get some restoration in the faith of humanity all right another another one of my personal stories uh, is what happened last week last week on Wednesday uh, so my little brother Yukon if you remember from uh, one of my last videos uh, when we did the then versus now video yeah my little brother Yukon he uh, he had a baseball game a little league baseball game uh, semifinals it was an important game because if he lost he's out of the playoffs if he won he goes forward to the finals but sadly he lost uh, his team lost uh, so you know the kids were a little upset that they didn't make the finals or anything but what comes as what came as a shock is who shows up Morgan Riley the top defenseman of the Toronto Maple Leafs shows up to say hi to the kids went over to my little brother's team's bench and shook the kids hand and also and not only that but also shook the other team's hand like he just literally came and said hi shook their hands, got pictures taken, and literally he was only there to see the ball hockey tournament that was going on in the arena. So it was crazy. It was, it was, to me it was crazy. I was like, wow, that's a kind gesture. And literally, like, because with, uh, for example, Marner, Mitch Marner from the Toronto Maple Leafs, the reason why, I, I have a t-shirt, a, a Toronto Maple Leaf t-shirt with his name on the back. So, Marner, he gives out pucks. He takes pictures with kids. I remember he took, he gave a puck to a kid that has cancer, that is fighting cancer, or maybe already defeated cancer. I can't remember. But anyways, he goes over there, gives him a puck, and gets a picture taken with that kid. And I thought that was beautiful. So right away, as soon as I saw the shirt, I grabbed it. I saw it in a store, and I grabbed it. Same with Morgan Riley. Sure, my brother's team lost. My brother's team lost. He came over and turned those frowns upside down. So to me, that was a nice humanly gesture. And that is why I have his shirt on. Like literally as soon, as soon as that happened, once payday came, because it happened on the Wednesday, I ordered the shirt on payday on Friday. I said, screw it, I'm buying this shirt. I don't care. It's because he did a really nice humanly gesture, and he didn't have to. He was there for the ball hockey tournament, for Christ's sake. He didn't have to, but he did. And that is why he is amazing. Morgan Riley for captain! So this image I I saw like not too long ago. It at, it's at Broadview Station uh, in Toronto. Um, I didn't know what to make of it at first because I didn't see any stories at first when I was on my Facebook, my personal Facebook, and when I saw it, I was like, okay, what's the story behind this? Like, what, what's going on? So, I finally found the story at the bottom of the picture. I didn't realize it at first, but yeah, I saw it at the bottom of the picture, and it said, this afternoon, I had the fright of my life. When my subway car pulled up at Broadview Station, I heard a faint voice call out, help, help me please it wasn't coming from anyone in the car and after hearing it again I, I stood up and looked out on the platform suddenly and all very quickly myself and the man beside me saw a man with a walking cane lying on the tracks 
he is blind and had fallen and injured himself. Without hesitation, the man you see in this picture in the animal shirt jumped into the tracks, should be on to, <laughs> into the tracks to pull him out. Thankfully, two other men showed up to help as well, and this story has a happy ending. Please pass this photo around. Please, these men need to be recognized as good Samaritans. If they hadn't reacted so quickly, the outcome would have been horrific. Well, it's true. Like, someone falls on the tracks, especially an elderly person, it's hard for them to get back up. So, again, humanity. They did the humanly thing, went down there and saved his life before a train came over and ran him over. So, those, those people that are in the picture, complete heroes. They are heroes. Now, this next one uh, happened a couple weeks ago, uh, and it was regarding, uh, it's actually involving uh, a famous actor. You have to know him, Danny Trejo. He, uh, first time I saw him personally <laughs> was actually in the movie uh, Spy Kids when I was a kid. But a couple weeks ago, he did a huge, huge thing, he heroic thing. And that, uh, and that was uh, saving a baby that was trapped in their seat, in their car seat, in a car that was flipped over. So again, like I said, this happened a couple weeks ago on uh, August 7th, I believe. Um, and Danny was there at the intersection in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm not sure which intersection, but was there in Los Angeles at the time, in that exact moment, exact intersection, wherever the car was flipped over. And he helped try to save a baby that was in the car. Sure, it wasn't just him. Um, yeah, like he was the ce celebrity hero, but there was also another woman there trying to help him because uh, he was having trouble trying to get the baby out. The baby was trapped, right? It couldn't get the belt buckle off. But um, but there was a woman that uh, helped free that baby. So they both worked together, got that baby free, and again, that's another humanly thing that we need in humanity. He's a celebrity, pretty much didn't have to do it. He, in a way, kind of risked his fame but I guess it kind of boosted his fame that he helped and sa helped save a, a baby in a flipped over car. Like that is amazing. Like he is a real life hero. Respect. Now this next moment that uh, really touched me it like literally actually brought me to tears. And it was just one of those moments that I don't know, it's like it's really uplifting, it's, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know it, it's uh, when Garth Brooks, when Garth Brooks, he was performing, and he saw a sign with a woman uh, that was fighting cancer, and so he, so what he pretty much did is, he sat in front of her, unhooked his guitar, and then gave her his guitar, and then got up and said, Kick cancer's ass. So again, Garth Brooks did the humanly thing and made everyone feel warmth in their hearts and gave people hope on surviving cancer.
this next clip I thought was very, very sweet. Like, I saw it the first time and I was just like, yes, this, this needs to happen more often. This really needs to happen more often. It shows a kid, uh, it shows a couple of kids on a basketball team, they're, they're having their basketball game, and this, uh, I think, well, at least to me, it looked like the, the biggest kid, like tallest kid on the team, um, is helping another kid with, uh, with cerebral palsy. Helping this other kid with cerebral palsy score his first basket. So honestly, I thought that was like the sweetest thing that could ever happen in a school, you know, because because you know with all the bull with all the bullies that go around and everything, it's really hard. And this this one kid is out of the whole team. Like if you look, there was another there was another kid there that was that uh, tried to shoot a basket for himself, missed. <laughs> but no matter what, they. Uh, the the taller kid, the bigger kid, got the ball back, so so that this child with cerebral palsy can score his first basket. So kudos to that child for helping that kid with cerebral palsy. So kudos to that child helping the child with cerebral palsy out and making his first basket. This next one is to me it when I first saw it, it shocked the crap out of me, but at the same time, it really hit me. This man was brave. I call him the real life Spider-Man because he legit climbed up. He, on the balconies, literally climbed up the balconies to save a kid from falling off. He's also a hero. Like honestly, I don't know how he did it. It's I know adrenaline kicks in, but how he had the courage to actually climb up those balconies to save a child is amazing. It was tr it's truly amazing. So, this next one I'm going to make my last because uh I don't know. I just got I just feel like making it my last at the moment. He's highly talked about. He is Mr. John Wick, Keanu Reeves. People classify him as pretty much the most humanly human of humanity. And after, if if all these things are true, then I have to agree. So with Keanu Reeves, um, I'm just going to go through uh, a site that I found. Um, sharing the 11 reasons why Keanu Reeves is the best. So number one is because he's just as good at awkwardly giving up his seat on the subway as any New Yorker. Honestly, I've, I've gone through this before where I see people not giving up their seat to elderly people or to pregnant people and it's just like, really? And don't get me wrong, I accidentally did it a couple times. Like, I feel terrible for it. Like, I've, I felt so terrible for it because, I mean, I like to rock out you know, I like to rock out with my music, but at the same time, I close my eyes when I'm rocking out, and yeah. So, and eventually I'll open my eyes and I see someone with a cane, I'm like, oh, god damn it. I feel terrible. But every time I do catch them, I, uh, before they see me get out of my seat, I just get out of my seat and just, you know, be like the silent hero. And again, I'm only doing the humanly ones, so... This is just one of the humanly things that he's done, and he gives he does give up his seat. Hell yeah. Right here. Number three, he hangs out with homeless people, and it's no big deal. See, he's still, he's so kind, he even hangs out with the homeless. Like, again, another humanly thing that people usually just turn their cheek to. They see someone homeless, and they pretend not to see them. And, yeah, and just walk by, don't say hi, or don't help at all. But nope, and then there's Keanu Reeves, being the good guy that he is, and hanging out with the homeless. Yep, going a little further into this list, in number six, he gives money to a bunch of actual charities. 
Honestly, I do remember uh, reading up something how he's apparently been giving millions and millions of dollars to charities. And again, this is another reason why Keanu Reeves is like the most humanly human of humanity ever. And honestly, like Keanu Reeves, he's just a, he's just a really amazing person. Like you see, like I see here, like he's had a hard life. He has lived a hard life. Like, uh, like how'd it go? Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was his wife. Or his sister, like, one of them was sick and he was taking care of them, and, um, I think, uh, something else too, like his, his child died, and then shortly after his wife died. So, yeah, I think it was his child died, then his wife died, and then his sister got sick, and, and he still, and he still lives life, like, showing here, he's basically a down-to-earth guy. And he still lives with the hope of humanity, and he is literally acting like he is the humanly human of humanity. Though there is so much more about Keanu Reeves that we probably don't even know about, or maybe we do know about, or and I don't know about. Yeah, it's just everyone says he's like this great guy, and I started looking up things, and turns out he is a really great guy. Like, I remember back when I was in middle school, I had a teacher uh, who was a photography uh, person. You know, she, t she took photographs, and she, uh, yeah, she was a photographer. That was the word I was thinking of. <laughs> Anyways, she, uh, she bumped into Keanu Reeves randomly on the street and asked to get his, fo his photo taken, and, uh, and she was describing him as a huge dick. And that honestly shocked the crap out of me, because, you know, he was this, he's this great actor. I, f I saw him first saw him in the matrix and i thought he was a great actor and it surprised me that he, that my teacher would say oh no he's a bad guy he's an asshole i'm just like no way but then i read up all these things about keanu reeves and i'm just like yeah right what what an idiot it's because he, he i guess he was a little maybe a little agitated a little pissed off that they randomly bump into each other on the street, and she's like, I want to take pictures of you. It's like, well, yeah, that's kind of a bother, especially if he has somewhere to go. Like, that's a huge bother. You should be thankful that he actually said sure. <laughs> but other than that, that's why everyone is pretty much saying Keanu Reeves is the man of the world, the most humanly human of humanity. <laughs> So anyways, Puzzle Pieces, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on uh, who, who you think, on who you think is one of the most humanly humans of humanity. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And thank you for watching.